A warm, warm welcome right here on Faith Avenue, and this is your brother, Mr. Cage. I'm so excited today. Wow, uh, we haven't had uh, this particular show for quite some time now. We are on your celebrity. <laughs> All right, and today we'll just delve into um, the life of a very special man of God right here. He's quite new in the music industry, but uh, he's doing some uh, quite tremendous works around. And this happens to be no other than uh, Junior Isaac. <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you? Good to see My you. My brother, you are well? I'm blessed. You're looking you. awesome. I oh, must confess. Thank you. What's the secret? Are you married? Oh, <laughs> it's just the grace. You know? It's not marriage. It's the grace. Not marriage. Not marriage, but the grace. Okay. The grace of God. <laughs> All right. Are you married? No. Why? Um, well, time is coming. Okay. Time cool. is a project. I, uh, time, time is coming. Yeah. I get it. I understand. Mm. So tell me, how are things? Well, by the, grace, by the special grace of God, mm -hmm. things um, are okay. Yeah, I'm trying to push the work of God mm -hmm. here and there. Yeah, so so far so good. The hair is, um, you know, is, is, is actually moving well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the grace of God. Uh, how how is ministry? Well, ministry is, is okay. You know, um, of course, when you do a project, it's obviously you need to push. Mm -hmm. You need to um, uh, make sure that. Um, um, people are listening to to what you've done. To oh, yeah. what God has actually. Put I thought you. so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. So today we just want to delve in your life. We want to read almost each and every page of your life. Mm. So in a nutshell, who do you say Isaac is? Hmm. Well, Isaac is a child of God. Okay, I like. He's a person who believes in himself that he can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. Okay, and. Um, I was born in in in, in Lusaka and um, I've, I've been raised in Lusaka as well. Okay. Yeah. And uh, born and bred Lusaka, of course. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So and I was I was actually born in a family of four, two girls, two boys, and I'm the first born. Oh, Okay. Yeah. So much workload on your shoulders. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you need to that's set right. the trends. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's, that's right. Yeah. Um, tell me, what tribe are you? I'm Bemba. You're Bemba. Yeah. So let's remember land. Uh, have you been to your village? No. Oh. But, but anyway, I would love to, to, to visit. Yeah. Which is your village? Uh, Kasama. Ah, oh, where, where about in Kasama? Uh, I've never been there, so... <laughs> you you <laughs> don't even... Go. Yeah, but of course, my, 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 vili my village is Kasama, Chief Nkolemfumo. Ah, Avena uh, Nkole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Chief yeah, that's the district. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, um, so, but you, you told me, um, how, um, how is life? You know, um, maybe before we get there, um, I, what church do your parents go to? How were you raised? Were you raised in a Christian uh, family? Yeah, of course, um, my parents, they, 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 they go to Roman Catholic Church. Okay. Yeah, but of course, yeah, I used to go there when I was just a little boy. Yeah, and then you know when you're growing, you discover um, your purpose for, okay. for life, and of course there are some things that you decide on your own, especially where Christianity is, is concerned. And um, I thought of um, going to another church. Okay. Yes. Um, Bob, Bob, th this is like a tendency. You you realize that most of us youth, uh, youths. Mm -hmm. We always, uh, we've always come from somewhere. <laughs> That's right. There's the churches where our parents, uh, you know, raised us in, mm -hmm. we tend to have left. What do you think could be the problem? Is it the problem or uh, wha what's up uh, around that scenario? Well, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a problem. Mm. Um, it actually depends. Sometimes um, you, you'd want to go where your heart wants. You know? Okay. Yeah. You, you, you really want to go where your heart wants. And um, I think that's, it, it's not a problem, so to say. So, so it's, it has nothing to do with you finding problems where the church, where your parents are. It has think, nothing to do with that. I think the best answer I would say is it depends. It depends? Yeah, it depends. So like in your case? Or in my case, um, I thought... Um, yeah, what really uh, prompted the move or the switch? Whoa. I think, let me just say, um, Catholic, I think, there's how, of course we are, we are all Christians, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's how they pray and there's how we pray as a Pentecostal church. And of course, I'm, I'm actually very flexible. 
you know, in, in, in my own church where okay. I go, yeah. You, you, you find yourself fitting in the yeah, church and right. then um, obviously executing mm -hmm. duties as uh, yeah. expected. Yeah, and even apart from that, even my, my ministration, mm -hmm. you know, when, when, for example, I go to Roman Catholic, there are some things that I don't, I, 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 I can't do in, 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 you know, in, in Roman Catholic, okay. in the church. But, but tell me, before you left uh, Roman Catholic, mm -hmm. were you serving, were you in any of the groups? Oh, actually, it's 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 way back when I was just a little boy, maybe probably like how old? <laughs> probably eleven years old, okay. probably ten years old, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of course, um, I think I was I was born again in probably twenty twenty fourteen. Okay. Yeah. I was born again in 2014, and um, in 2016, I discovered my purpose for life. Okay. And of course, I began, you know, to 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 work to work for the Lord, you know, in music. Yeah. What, what do you miss in Catholic? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, um, 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 mm -hmm. these are special memories. Uh, yeah, when right. when um, you want to recollect mm -hmm. how you were, how you were raised, uh, the things that you went through, just mm -hmm. those moments when you were young, mm -hmm. they are quite interesting and intriguing. Mm -hmm. We want to delve into that. Well, although I wasn't this, what, what, what they call a kambenga, <laughs> you about that, right? Yeah, true. Yes, of course. I was. I've got my roots from there. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was. I was young by then. Probably I think, uh, ten years, eleven years. Okay. So I used to hear campenga, campenga, mm -hmm. just like that. Yeah. So um, I think I wasn't doing anything by then. I wasn't doing anything by then. Okay. So I can't say that um, I used to do that. I used to so you never that. joined? No, I never joined. Okay. Not okay. even um, in any choir. No, by then I was young. I, I, actually, I never even knew that I could sing. Okay. You no, know, I never even knew that I could sing. Mm -hmm. But as time goes on, you know, um, discovering your purpose for life and you know wanting to serve God, and um, yeah, that's that's it um, happens like that. Oh yeah, I, I, in your family, is singing like uh, something that is uh, traceable in your family, or you are just breaking off the shells and setting trends? No. Actually, I'm the first person like singing in the family. <laughs> Not even mom and dad. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Not even an uncle, auntie, no. somewhere. Oh, but then my uncle, uh, my my uncle used to sing. He used to be very, he used to be very committed in you know choir. Okay. Yeah, and of course my auntie as well, and my mom. I think she she sings actually. Okay. Yeah, she sings. Yeah. That's Roman Catholic. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, music yeah. is music. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now, I want you to probably run me through your, your academic background. Mm -hmm. Where did you start your grade one? If I told you, maybe you, 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 you had the privilege of going to the nursery school and stuff like that. Well, in my grade one, I was at um, Challenger B. Okay. Yeah, from... But now I'm down now. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. And then grade, uh, I think grade, grade four, I went to Woodlands B. Mm -hmm. and then I went up to grade, um, grade six actually. Okay. Grade six actually, and then grade six, grade seven, I went to Arthur Wiener. From okay. Arthur Wiener, I went to Woodlands A. Then from Woodlands A. I went to Kwacha. Why were you so much uh, changing schools? Wow. Were you exploring? Oh. <laughs> How is it Zungulia, Zambia? Uh, I think on that one, I think parents, of course. You know, what, what, what happened? You were shifting? No, not, not really. Mm -hmm. Not really, but uh, I think maybe probably changing some environment, you know. Yeah. Uh, you were not changing homes? No. Like you stay in a certain compound, then you move to another compound? No, I just changed maybe twice. But twice. what do you think could have triggered the, uh, the the changing of schools? The changing of schools, uh, probably sometimes, you know parents, you know how parents are, sometimes they hear from from their friends to say, I think, ah, but Challenger B, or maybe 
uh, other winner mm. uh, but it's, it's, British, yeah, it's a better know, school I mean, it's a better uh-huh. school so to find parents you know um, they really want to 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 make you change the school yeah. um th- there is this notion that changing of schools sometimes has a negative impact on one's performance mm-hmm. did you ever experience that did it affect you negatively uh, I think I would, I would I would actually agree with 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 that saying okay because you need to be you need to be set you know one 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 school and um, two your secondary I mm-hmm. think yeah I, I must agree with that okay mm-hmm. all right so let's just take a break as we listen to this great song Bola Nalesa by Isaac J.R. Jr. <laughs> all right we'll be right back Ding a ding a ding 
Well, great song right there by uh, you know Isaac J.R. He told me it's not Junior, but we'll get to check out what that is. <laughs> Very great song right there, Bola Nalesa. Bola Nalesa, why Bola Nalesa? What are you talking about? Well, um, I'm a football player. I'm a football Actually, what really inspired me to, to write that song or to do a project called Bolana is because it's, a, it's an album by itself. Okay, so that's it's like the, the, the title track oh, of the album? The album yeah, okay. Bolana mm -hmm. So what really inspired me when you listen to the, to the, to the album, all the songs, um, I'm encouraging my fellow footballers, mm -hmm. not only footballers, but al also businessmen, you know, women. Mm -hmm. you know, there are times when um, we put trust in man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like things are not working well in my business. Instead of praying to God, asking God to say, God, take your place. I need, I, I, I need to see your, your, your greatness in my business. Instead of praying to God like that, you end up going to a witch doctor, you know, so that uh, <laughs> okay. he can give you some something, some mm -hmm. terms, mm -hmm. you know, to use so that your business can can. Some do as I say, pal. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that That's what is trending, man. Yeah, but then you know, um, God is not man that he should lie, you know, mm -hmm. not man that he should repent. That's that's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, whatever God prom, pro, prom, promised in, in, in His Word surely comes to pass. Mm -hmm. So, the Word of God says in Ephesians 2 verses 20, it says that to Him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that mm -hmm. we could ask or think according to the power that waits in us. So, in other ways, we've got the power to become whatsoever we want in life, and that power lives in us. Okay. So, um, that was. That, 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 that was a thing that really inspired me to, to write to write uh, this that, song. Uh, that, 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 that song. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah. I, I love the video. Who shot this video? NXT. NXT, NXT so Solution. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, but um, you know, you have a very interesting story. Mm. You tell me. It's not easy. I think you are the first of mm. the kind <laughs> to have you as a gospel artist and, uh, and at the same time, mm. uh, you know, a footballer, mm. a professional footballer, I should say. Yeah, you tell course. me, how did you, when did you discover that you could actually play football? Well, uh, I discovered that I can play football when I was just a little boy, actually. Um, probably 2014, somewhere there. <laughs> 2013, yeah. And um, the same year, actually, I was. I used to love music, okay. you know, swing like a ac player, uh, mm -hmm. ac a cappella, and of course, I could, you know, do some sing-along songs mm -hmm. when I hear a song on radio and then I sing along. So the more I was doing that, the more the interest was growing in me, the more the interest was growing in me, and same applies to, to, to soccer, mm -hmm. you know. So I've been, I've been pushing like that. I discovered, I think, I was 13 years okay. that, that I could sing and uh, play football play sometime. football okay but of course it has been a process I you know see. can only you, you, you have to be convinced to say well I can now sing I can now play football. <laughs> yeah. you but, but how, how do you manage to um, you know do uh, these two things at the same time because mm. they're all very involving you need yeah. to find quality time to rehearse mm. as as a musician mm. you need to you know be acquainted to what is trending the new tunes that are coming on the market mm. you also need to adapt to new skills yeah, as a footballer right. you yeah, need to train right. hard you need mm. to that's, do some jogging true. and stuff like that mm. how do you manage the two well i think what i can say is um, god cannot give you something that you cannot handle okay you know yeah so for me to to have two things on my plate yeah. which is football and, and my ministry uh, music um, I've been pushing in a, in a way that um, people they ask questions they say how do you manage mm -hmm. but it, it is by the grace of God you know it is by the grace of God you find you just manage manage time time for training and time to to listen to God what God is saying because at the end of the day you need to fulfill your purpose you know Sure. Yeah, at the end of the day, you need to fulfill your purpose, and uh, which is very important. Mm -hmm. You know, I always encourage my friends to say, "Don't live for nothing. Don't live an empty life." That's what my man of God once said. You know, life is not a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, meaning that when you die, you can't come back and live mm. another life. Oh yeah, it is impossible. Mm. You know, it is impossible. Mm -hmm. So while you're still living, 
um, discover your purpose for life. You know, to, don't live for nothing. Discover mm -hmm. your purpose for life, and you need to, you need to, you need to work for God. You need to work for God. Um, Isaac, you tell me, are you born again? Yes. When were you born again, and how did you know that you were born again? Well, it's very simple. Mm. So I was actually born again in, like I said, that was in twenty. 2012 actually okay. okay yeah so you know you accept god as a as your personal savior you know um the bible says in romans 10 verses 9 mm -hmm. that when you confess with your mouth mm -hmm. that god raised jesus christ you know on on, on and, and raised him from the dead mm -hmm. you, you'll be saved mm -hmm. so it's very simple you just confess with your mouth you know that 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 jesus christ was raised from the dead so, l looking at your activities, maybe your way of life, mm -hmm. what changed from the time that you were born again? Sorry? From the time that you were born again, mm -hmm. what changed in your ways, in your conduct? Well, I've actually seen God. I've, I've actually seen God, you know, in my life. Well, what, what were you doing before you were born again mm -hmm. that you're not doing now? Um, of course, you know, there's some... There's some things, of course, you're young. <laughs> you, 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 know, you, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, sometimes uh, your mother, maybe the sugar, you know, you know what I mean, like the mm. sugar, and then when your mother comes, ah, you should not go sugar, and then, you know. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, those, those, those things, and uh, of course, I think I used to, I, I used to be naughty. I used to be naughty okay. so much. By by then, I never I never knew what was you know running in my head. You know, yeah, I, I used to do touch things here and there. You know, um, probably insulting that language. No, that did bad did language. you ever fight in, in school? Um, not really. Not really. You never fought. You were just no. beaten. Yeah. Tell me what happened. <laughs> What did you do to receive yeah. that kind of a beating? You know, when you're naughty, of course, um, a friend would come to you and say, uh, "This is my pen." And like, no, it's not your pen. This is my pen, and then you 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 are holding that pen, you know. And then is that what we call stealing? Um, or because you started it's practicing it uh, the from, from the kitchen, <laughs> leaking sugar and stuff. Well, but I think it's it's yeah. At the end of the day, it's it's, it's some someone's pen, of course. Mm -hmm. it's, that, that's stealing, yeah. And um, after that, and then that friend of mine beats me, you know, just slaps me like that, and then I cry like a baby. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I used to be naughty, and uh, ever since I I was born again, mm. compared to the life that I'm living right now, um, there's too much change. Okay, you know, too much change. Too, I like that. like too much too, change. Too too much change. Because you know? God is is actually involved in my life. You know, God is actually involved in my life, and. Um, Things are working. F things are working just, you know, for your good, for my good. Mm. You know. Awesome. So God is so faithful. Um, I asked you this question as to whether you are born again, uh, because there is this. I don't know if it's a myth mm -hmm. that footballers like Juju so much. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me that story? Well, um, people believe in Juju because people believe in Juju and some people have heard, you know, people using some Juju here and there. And of course, um, when you have God in you, mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't start depending on man, you understand? So for example, there are some people who cannot play soccer mm -hmm. until they maybe smoke. Okay. So that it, can, it can boost them, you mm -hmm. understand? And there are some people probably who can who cannot play soccer mm -hmm. not until they have something maybe some chance you know others they say that uh, uh, maybe chance for favor mm -hmm. you understand but of chance course, for favor. okay yes uh -huh. but of course we've got a God who is who is above mm -hmm. who is able to do so so if you ever had an experience where maybe this a uh, friend of yours in the club mm -hmm. is using the say is, is using juju but and you know that uh, he uses some um, hairball for mm -hmm. anything uh no not 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 in my club but 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 of course you know what what we what usually happens is um you don't know mm -hmm. you don't know for example you've got a friend maybe in a team for example and then um you think maybe he's a very prayerful 
uh, person, but mm-hmm. somehow when he, where he goes, you don't know where he goes, maybe he probably use one or two charms, you know. Yeah, but of course, this is real. This is real. I, I think we witnessed uh, the time that Senegal was playing uh, Zambia. Under 20, right? <laughs> under 20. Yeah, under, under 20. Yeah. So, so meaning that... Um, those things are real. Yes, meaning that people believe in charms. Okay. Why can't you believe in God? He created you. Mm. And so you've, a, you've, no one has ever, um, uh, you know, uh, enticed you with charms. No one has ever whispered to say, you can actually be a better player than you are, yeah, only mm-hmm. if you did this. Well, I guess no one can come to me and tell me that because I'm a minister of the gospel, of course. Uh, of, I, of, I, I, of, of course, you being a minister, there is mm-hmm. no a number plate, or there is no mm-hmm. poster on your head. Yeah. And, uh, on I think I would, I would say no one has ever. No one has ever. ever. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's just take a break as we um, listen to this great song by Mwansa Jilod with a song entitled uh, Chachine featuring uh, Tripoli.
All right, what a great song right there by Mwansa Gilod, all the way from Kumigodi. <laughs> All right, with a song uh, entitled uh, Chachine uh, featuring Hope Tripoli. I wonder where Hope is. Hope blessed us with a very great album that time. Uh, it should be uh, some, is it five, six years ago? We still need your music. We love what uh, God has put in your life. All right, so now, man of God. Yes, sir. Um, we still um, reading your <laughs> rich yeah. uh, book. Mm, mm. <laughs> All right, now you tell me. Um, I want to find out um, this thing. Where do you? Uh, if maybe first, before I ask that question, you mm -hmm. tell me, uh, people, because people could be wondering. Mm -hmm. He's saying he's a footballer. Which clubs has he been to? Where is he from? Mm. Yeah, tell me your story. How did, which clubs have you been to as a footballer? Okay, so the first club I was, um, I, f I first started with uh, an academy. It's called Ambassadors in Sport. Okay, where is it? Uh, it's in Chilenge. Okay. From there, I went to uh, Young City of Osaka. Okay. I'm sure you see, you, you know, mm -hmm. City Amoto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, from there. City Amoto, the owners of uh, Woodland Stadium, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then from there, I graduated. Uh, I went to um, Happy Arts. Okay. I went to Happy Arts. From Happy Arts. Um, what division is. Uh, uh, by, then, by then, it was uh, amateur. Okay. Yeah, and then I think I was probably 16 years old by mm -hmm. then. Yeah. From there, I graduated. I went to National Assembly. Okay. From there, senior. Senior, of okay. course. Yeah, I was I was so young, mm -hmm. but uh, you know I could fit in, in you know big guys. From there, I went back to Happy Arts. Why? In Division One, because uh, that 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 was my team. That was my team. Like. Uh, so you were just like on loan. Yeah, of course. Of course, me going to National Assembly, mm -hmm. I, I went. You know how it is. Like you go for for trials, mm -hmm. and then probably if uh, if you want to go back to your to your to your, to your, to your club, club, yeah, to your club, you can you can just go easily like like that. You can just go easily. Like that. Yeah. So from there, I went to um, actually I went to Shamwell. There's a new team called Shamwell. Sha? Shamwell. Okay. It's in now. It's now in Division One. It's it's doing well. Where is it? Um, it's in Woodlands. Okay. Yeah, Woodlands. The one of the team is Evans Kangwa. Okay. Yeah. So. The very Evans Kangwa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, from Shamwell, I went now to Circuit City. Okay. Circuit City. That was last year. Mm -hmm. That was last year. I went to Circuit City, and it was in Division One. Okay. So we won the league actually. So that's and where you are currently. No. I'm at Happy Arts now. Okay. Yeah, so Circuit City. You are fond of Happy Arts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I went to, to, to Circuit City and uh, I'm so happy um, to, to say that uh, I was one of the players that won the promotion to go to go in Premier Division because it was in Division 1 and we won the promotion to go in Premier Division. All right. Uh, you tell me, um, what is sin? Sorry, sin. Sin, yes. How do you define oh. it? How can I define sin? Well, of course, um, doing something that is not pleasing God. Okay. Yes. Um, how about you tricking me? How about me <laughs> tricking you? Yes. Like? Maybe you lie. You trick me, you tell me something and yet it's not true. That's the same. The same. How about you uh, dribbling somebody? You lie to that person that you're going this direction and yet you want to go this direction. <laughs> In football terms. Um, that's not <laughs> same. That's skill. <laughs> that's skill. That is skill. You, know? <laughs> you lie skillfully. <laughs> well, that's the reason why you practice. Okay, to that's, lie skillfully. Yeah, yeah, to dribble. That, to dribble, yeah, like that. All right. Yeah. And there's, I know you told me that um, you play number five, you're a defender. Mm -hmm. There's this tendency in football, especially if you're number five, that in Sapato Muntu and in Sapato, it's either Bola here in a shadow or in a shadow Bola here. 
it's a very interesting, you know, you know, when you're like you you you're, you're a defender. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting when people say that, uh, you know, not even to compete. It's either Bola Isale eh? or Enver Sade. She must say also to compete by India. You know, those those are just kind of those, those weights, you know, in football. Be, being a Christian, um, there've been insta there are instances in football where you are you are facing this team and they tell you to say, since you are number five, you are number nine, you are Mm. How do you do? Have you ever been in such a situation where the coach gives you strict instructions to say, we want you to, you know, hit hard on this guy? Mm. You know, there are, of course, there are instructions. Uh, your coach is your manager. Mm -hmm. So if if a coach gives you an instruction, it's obviously you, you, need to you, you have to try by all means, you know, to do what, 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 whatever the coach is saying. Yeah, but, but of course, um, I think being a Christian, for me, <coughs> how, I, how, how do you I, handle it? How I can handle that or mm. how I handle that, mm. I think it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's very important just to be hard. Not playing rough, mm -hmm. but just be hard. On that person okay yes that's not you know <laughs> playing well <laughs> yeah, just be hard okay. just be hard just uh -huh. be hard just be hard on that person because of course that person wants to dribble you mm -hmm. so are you going to let that person dribbles you mm -hmm. no okay you need to be hard all right you make sure that that ball doesn't pass you this sounds like soccer chat <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go back to music uh, you tell yeah. me um at what point did you realize that it was time up for you to now do um, an album? Mm -hmm. um, 2016. Actually, 2016, I discovered my purpose for life. Mm -hmm. Yes, I discovered my purpose for life, and that's the that's the time that I started now working on on my project. Mm -hmm. I think I would say that's where the, my journey started. Okay. What, what prompted to the start of your journey? Well, How did you discover your purpose musically? Musically, um, oh, I discovered my purpose it, musically. You know that I need to win souls through mm -hmm. music. I need to. Win Who souls inspired you? Um. Well, okay, one of the person who inspires me is Ephraim, the son of mm -hmm. Africa. E even back then. Even back then, I used to listen to. Because the question I'm asking you, what I want is, I want you to give me a scenario, or you elaborate to me um, mm -hmm. instances where. You're just seated. You're not even serious about music. Mm. And then maybe uh, maybe Ephraim releases an album and mm. then you go like, ah, I still feel I can also do this. Mm. Where did you get that oomph? Oh, I remember when I had, that was way back, mm -hmm. even before I discovered my, my, my purpose. Mm -hmm. I used to listen to K-Million's um, songs. Secular? Albums, yeah. Okay. I used, I used to listen to Secular and I could feel in, in me, say, mm -hmm. I can do this, I can do this. No. Yes, I can do this, I can do this. Because <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to be, I, I don't want to sound so holy, mm. you know, that I never... Listen to Secular to, music. Yeah, mm -hmm. I never used to listen to Secular music, yeah. So from, from there, it has been a journey. Mm. So from there, and then I, I, I started now listening to Ephraim's and, and, and stuff like that. And I was so very inspired and encouraged as well by his his music. All right. Yeah, and I'm so happy that I'm, I'm actually following his footsteps. Let some paper touch in your I'm going to All right, that's a song that we're going to listen to right about now by, you know, um, Isaac Jr. We'll be right Tamaka Chinje is the song that we've just played that right there by, you know, um, Isaac J.R. <laughs> I love the video. I love everything. The, you know, the, the, with the clarity in the video as well. Very great song. You're doing well, I must say. By the grace of God. Amen. It's the grace. It's the grace. The grace. Made yeah. abundant. Mm. Yeah, that's right. right. Mm. Okay, so you tell me, um, who did you collaborate with in this project? Um, I worked with um, Ephraim, the son okay. of Africa. I've, I, I've also worked with um, Ben Min, one of the producers at, Be at, at Blazer Studios. Okay. And I've also worked with uh, a friend of mine, Marlon. Yeah. Okay. So you you only featured three people in this album? Uh, uh, actually, it's four. And, four. Uh, Felix. Not Felix. Not Felix Chwombelo, but uh, Felix Tembo. Okay. Um, what, what were you um, looking at in picking these people to work with? Well, of course, um, depending on, 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 on the style of music that I do, mm -hmm. 
Um, I love worship, R&B, mm, soul music. Yeah, so I thought Ephraim was the best person to to, to, work, with. to work with. Yeah. All right. And of course, with my one of the, one of my producers at at, at Blazer Studios. Mm -hmm. um, Ben Min is a worship as well. So okay. Yeah, it, was, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah, how was the experience working with Ephraim? Um, it was so very amazing, um, you know, working with a big artist who is so much, you know, established and uh, who is also, who is known, you know, who, who has that experience in music. It was so very, very encouraging mm -hmm. and it was so very encouraged encouraged at, at, at the same time yeah um you run me through what are some of the challenges that you faced okay um through your production of uh, uh so, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um a lot of cause life okay first first thing first life is is a journey yeah so there are times you pass through some ups and downs yeah so in my in in, in my ministry Working on this album, I've faced, uh, I've, I've faced through a lot of challenges in such a way that uh, I even wanted to give up. Okay. But each time I want to give up, mm -hmm. I remind myself who I am in Christ Jesus. Mm. You know, I'm the head and not the tail. Not the tail. You know, I was born for greatness. Mm. Yeah. So sometimes you'd find you walk from 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 home to the studio. Because I worked on this project from 2016 to 2018, so so, so it's it's now a done album. It's yes. a complete album. Yes, yes. Okay. So it was it was a journey. It was a process. Mm -hmm. Of course, life is step by step. Yeah. So those are the the challenges that I I faced. You know, sometimes you don't have this. You have to sacrifice. You have to you have to walk. Mm. Why? Because you want to achieve something. It's something that you want to achieve. True. Yeah. So that's ministry at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you promoting your music and marketing? Well, um, of course, by taking to the radio stations. Like at the moment, I don't have a, uh, a manager or a promoter, mm -hmm. so I can't wait. For someone to come and do the work for me, okay. I got to push on my own. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to push. I got to fight on my own. So I promote. So is 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 um, your fight uh, currently enough? Oh, I think so. Uh, so far, so good. I think uh, it's it's kind of enough. But of course, we we need each other. Mm -hmm. We need each other. If some if somebody can can come and you know. Um, and offer himself to be my manager. It's it's it's, it's a plus. It's a Run me through some of the songs that are in your album. Uh, the first track is the Magachinje, the mm -hmm. video that you just sh uh, that that they you just shown. And mm -hmm. uh, the second track number two is uh, Amalumbo. I featured Ephraim. Track number three is Timawanga. Mm -hmm. The title of the album. Okay. Yeah. I'm ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then track number four it's. Um, Quitation at the end. It's the one I featured uh, Ben Min. Okay. Yeah. Which my quitation at We call upon the name of God in every you know call upon the name of God in every situation that you're going through. Mm -hmm. You know when you call upon the name of, of God, you'll be served. Okay. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, there's power in the word of God. All right. Too much power. Mm. The Too next much. song. The next song. Um, Tulewina. Okay. Tulewina. Is and it a football game, a kind of no, song? <laughs> no, I, no, actually, um, it's a, a prophetic uh, song. Okay. Yeah, you know, um, I was actually inspired this song when, when I think I, I, I dreamt something and then I woke up and then I started now prophesying to, my, to myself to say, this year I'm winning, it's my time to shine, mm. it's my time to move forward. Wow. Yeah. And I got to win. Mm. I got to fight. True. Yeah. <laughs> the next song? The next song is uh, um, Make Away. Okay. And then the seventh song is it's um, um, what song is that? Um, that slipped off. Yeah. So tell me, uh, th there is always um, a general message that you want to communicate in a particular album. Mm -hmm. So w what could one say this is the general message of this album? Okay. Well, um, 
of course the title of the album is Mutima Wanga. Mm-hmm. So the purpose of of of, of this title of the of, of, of this title of the album is um, to encourage people to say God is 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 the, is, 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 is the one in charge of our lives. Mm-hmm. You know. So give yourself to Him like fully. You know. Every situation that you have, just 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 surrender yourself to Him and and just let God be. Be, be the one in charge, you know. So, Mutima Wanga, Moyo Wanga, in a pass and a pelika kumbuye, Banjalanga, and everything that I have. I like your bem. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and everything that I have. Okay, you know, I place them in the hands of God. Yeah. All right. Well, you tell me, um, how, because there is always this um, uh, perception. Mm-hmm. where people look at you as an upcoming artist mm-hmm. and then probably those that have gone ahead of you may not even take you seriously mm-hmm. how has it been so far in the in the music industry well i think do you think uh, these that have gone ahead of you they are help um well um i think i'd say the stage that we are at right now it's um you need to Sometimes you can't wait for someone who has gone ahead of you, mm-hmm. you know, to come and uh, advise you, to come and mentor you. Um, I think God is the only person that can actually mentor you. You understand? God is the is, is the is, 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 is the right person who can. But, mentor but what you. are you saying? Are you saying we don't need people that have gone ahead of us to counsel us or to direct us or to? Um, actually, we need them. Okay. Them, but there are times, mm-hmm. there are times that they are not available. Okay. What, what do you do? Mm-hmm. You know, so you seek God's, um, you know, direction. Mm-hmm. You seek, you seek God's, um, you seek God to to lead you. You, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But of course, we need those people that have gone ahead of us. Of the platforms that you've performed on so far, tell me which one was the most um, um, that hit the climax. When you look at it, you even say, wow, that was just another day. Wow. Well, I remember when I was uh, ministering at, uh, it's a church actually. I was invited by the man of God at um, Champions Royal Ministry, wow. Ministries Assemblies. <laughs> and um, there's, there's thousands of people. And for me, just to stand before women and men of God, it was so very amazing. And I was so very humbled. <laughs> Um, I think that was one of the first, um, yeah, I think that, that, was, that, that was the first, I think, yeah. What, what could be your message to people that are probably contemplating on becoming musicians? Maybe they're thinking of even giving up. Mm-hmm. What could be a message? Well, I want to speak to someone who wants to give up right now, mm-hmm. that, you know, you, you are born of God. You are born of God and uh, you were born to do good. And as a matter of fact, you know, you were designed to do good so don't give up you know on those dreams that you have mm-hmm. don't lose hope on those plans that you've set because you know the best is yet to come mm-hmm. keep on f- keep on pushing keep on fighting keep on pushing and you know just leave everything in the hands of God knowing that God is the one who is in charge of your life amen uh, I feel like uh, <coughs> you have another, uh, the third uh, ministry. Uh, have you been thinking of maybe becoming a pastor? I like the flow of scriptures. Oh, wow. The quotation of scriptures. Well, of course, I'm a pastor. You are a pastor? Music, through music, of course. Uh, I mean, pastor <laughs> officially. Um, and not really. Where you are even leading your own church. And not really. Not really. You've never thought of it. I've never thought of but it. But do you think that is something that you could think of? Um, musician, footballer, wow. pastor. <laughs> wow. yeah. um, I think um, if God calls me, all right. If God calls you, <laughs> He has a red cord. We just need to listen to Him. Yeah. Okay. okay. For now, um, I want to ask you one last question. Then we are done. Mm. What do you make of CA One? In two, three sentences. Ah, oh, wow. Should I comment on that? Yes, I've asked you. Well, um... What's your general perspective of him? Well, I think for me, he's not a man of God. 
Okay. I think I think I watched one or two videos where where he said, I don't use the powers from from God. Okay. Meaning that um, he's not saving God. All right. You've been awesome on this particular show. <laughs> you are so great. I love your so music nice. already. Oh, wow. um, bless God. We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be creating some time uh, very soon where we could interact at another level as well. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. So there you have it. And this has been Feather Avenue right here with your brother, Mims the Cage, on your celebrity. Today we were privileged to just get in the life of Isaac J.R. He told me he's not junior. How can you be junior at your age? <laughs> I'm junior. <laughs> uh, All right. So until you see us, shalom, shalom.